This image of Aiden Ross has recently surfaced to the internet after his two month absence from streaming, making fans very concerned as they miss their Jewish king, leaving comments such as, not even an Aiden fan but I've been at this point before, that's not just weight gain man, the face swelling like that is probably because of binge eating, hope he's okay man, and he looks like a bug, okay now nah, let's keep this one serious. And the last thing we really heard about him was on the 8th of June where on his burner account he tweeted, hey guys about to undergo surgery very soon, I'll keep everyone updated, I love ah. you guys. Okay. So where yeah, did Aiden Ross go, what happened to him and how was he doing today? So Aiden Ross at one point in time was one of the biggest streamers in the world. He really gained prominence around 2020, kind of during that lockdown period. I mean during that year he got to talk to LeBron James on an Xbox party because he was playing 2k tournaments with his son, Bronny James. What's good bro? It's LeBron? <laughs> he said is this LeBron? <laughs> Yo, first of all I gotta say gigantic fan i love you i don't i don't want to be a fanboy but like i love you nah that's all respect man i appreciate it man and appreciate look it's all love and respect to me and my son that's right look listen me and b we we we, we got we got we, we swept them and we did it for uh, cleveland after this moment is when aiden ross would really start blowing up but bronny james would fly out to la where aiden moved to where they would collab on stream and would actually get another viral moment as Corinna tries to flow with him where he just completely rejected her. Why are you looking at him like that? He's like tall now and like his voice is deep and stuff. You've never met him. Yeah, I can't lie, she's <laughs> probably never trying to him. trap him and get that generational well, bag by having his baby, but um, unlucky I guess. But he would have many other viral moments also. I mean, most of you will remember the many streams he did with rappers such as Sofago, Uzi, Tory Lanez, where Aiden's biggest selling point was the fact that he acted sus. I mean, personally, I remember that iconic Tory Lanez freestyle, which unfortunately I can't play due to copyright, but I'll play some of the sus clips with rappers because some of them are hilarious. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Mars. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Venus. Yeah. Can I see your penis? What the fuck? <laughs> get out, get out, get out. For free. If you're big dick dad, your big dick uncle, your fat hairy cow, grandpa's Amazon. Sorry, my phone over there going crazy. I got motherfuckers trying to hit me up and all of that shit. I'm sorry. For free, or you can pay three dollars, man. Come on, sub up. Run away to eat for me. <laughs> now of course playing 2k with lebron james son having streams with huge rappers and collaborating with many other popular content creators aiden ross really cemented himself as one of the biggest streamers in the world now unfortunately for aiden it seemed like the money and clout was kind of too much for him to handle, especially as he really blew up overnight. One of the most prominent things throughout his downfall was the fact he had a concerning addiction to lean, which many of you will have heard like rappers talk about, overnight. like that purple drink made from cough syrup and Sprite. I mean, the most common joke I see about it is like rappers uh, getting a lean gut. But yeah, it seemed like Aiden had developed a horrible addiction to lean, where on stream, viewers would even clip him having terrifying withdrawals from his addictive substance. <laughs> That's just him being slow. Seven days with no lean? Yeah, no, I'll be honest. I think he was just like high off meth in that clip uh, instead of having withdrawals, but um, you get the point. Aiden himself would also admit he had an opioid addiction at one point, which again contributed to his downfall. Um, I was on a binge uh, drinking lean. If you guys don't know what that is, it's cough syrup. Do not do it. And just when I was off it, just fevers and sweats and just became a really, really bad person and stomach problems and constipation, just all sorts of crazy stuff, man. And uh, now the entire like, I get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the money, the clout, the people you be around there make you do some crazy shit, but it's like, I just can't. Like me, I like staying superhuman status. Like I just posted on my TikTok, my body transformation. Like a month ago, I had like a dad bod. I can't. I can't do it, bro. I barely even like to drink. Like, I drink, like, a little bit. And I don't even drink to get drunk. But, like, lean, meth, cocaine, all that shit. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck how much money I'm getting. I don't give a fuck how much, how famous I can't. I don't give a fuck who I'm around. I can't do that. I can't. Saga with Aiden and the Top G where Aiden promised, you know, he was going to stop sipping the drink and get back in the like gym, sick, promising bro. he's going to fix his addiction. I think you hold the record for making the most stupid life choice. I have, me personally, Top G, ever been witness to hearing. <laughs> Nobody has told me a more stupid decision. I decided to stop going to the gym so I could focus on consuming liquid heroin. 
You are an idiot, Aiden. And at first, it seemed like Aiden was seriously grinding and making progress. He However, was. recently, images of Aiden's friends have surfaced. Bro, he posted a video, like he posted a, like a video of a transformation he had. His body was looking crazy, dog. Where no they cap. had cups in the hands or in the background, which had fans speculating that Aiden was back sipping. I mean, even streamers such as Bruce Trapper Moth was dropping hints at his addiction to lead. Shout out Aiden, bro. Shout out Aiden. Come back to streaming, bro. Come back, man. Come back to streaming, gang. Stop, stop stopping. Get off the lean. Man. Come back to streaming, bro. Now imagine this drug addiction mixing with the fact he signed a $200 million kick deal at the start of the year. Money, clout, and drugs is not a good mix. Like, think about it. This dude is 23 years old and has achieved everything he already wants in life. Now in 2024, after all these incidents, Aiden really fell off from the position he was once at. He literally was one of the biggest streamers in the world and in a way he still is, however his fans weren't really happy with the content as he was doing more chatting streams with people like XQC, MGK and Trippy Red, which people didn't really enjoy. People wanted the crazy, funny, gay uh, stuff, and you get the point. At one point in time, Aiden did have this boxing event running for a little while, which was pretty big especially as he got into a whole beef with KSI about it. It was a huge opportunity for Aiden and everyone involved, however, unfortunately for them, the event ended up getting shut down by the Florida Boxing Committee, which was kind of the last blow for Aiden Ross. That's awesome. I love this question. Let me tell you. Okay, so first you're going to find the Stitch Fix styling Get off my screen. Then on, he kind of went into self-destruct mode. He would end up deleting his Twitter community with over 90,000 members. During this period, he would also take like two or three days break from streaming, which led to his fans going insane, where he ended up ranting about his fans on stream. But that community is forever deleted. I'm never gonna bring it back. I had a bunch of other big streamers hit me up saying I'm proud of you. I can't wait to delete my community. I'm not the only one. It's just a bunch of parasocial bullshit, bro. And I stood up for myself and I stood up for people around me and that's that. I'm sorry, bro, I'm not gonna have people that are in that community babysitting from nine to five, basically fucking from fucking five to 12, whatever the fuck I'm trying to say, like all day 24 seven, just, you know, going crazy. So even though he ended up deleting it and having an entire breakdown on stream about it, he got on the phone with Elon Musk and, you know, told him, yo, Elon, I need my community back. Yeah, I don't think he actually called Elon, but um, you get the point. However, things continued going south for Aiden as he would announce on stream he has fired his entire team, including his manager and his coach, which left fans shocked. Especially as you may remember, Aiden promised he was going to get back in the gym and get fit, which his personal trainer was helping him with, so for Aiden to fire him was very confusing to the fans. The next person who uh, is no longer uh, working for me is uh, Citrus. He would then announce that he was actually getting sued by four people already and out of anger or revenge, he was going to sue his assistant Citrus as Aiden thinks he was at fault for the many technical difficulties he was having. Citrus, I just want to say one thing. I haven't had this many technical difficulties since you got fired. Um, I'm going to have to sue you. Um, I'm getting sued by four different people right now. What You're the, nigga, what the fuck? How, he was, I'm, I'm, uh, well, that doesn't even make sense. What the fuck? Let me, hold on, let me hear that. Let me hear that again. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, I got to hear that again. Wait a minute, wait. He was at fault for the many technical difficulties he was having. Citrus, I just want to say one thing. I haven't had this many technical difficulties since you got fired. Um, I'm going to have to How is that his fault? Um, I'm getting sued by four different people right now. You're going to get sued for uh, interfering with my business. So fuck off. Stop booting my IP. Stop, stop doing this weird shit. I'm not dumb, all right? I'm not a fucking idiot. Do I look like a... Now, as you guys can see, Aiden is kind of losing his mind a bit here. Addiction to substances, having his events shut down, deleting his Twitter community, and now firing his entire team and threatening to sue them. It really seems like Aiden's life was heading downhill very fast. And fans started noticing this, as they would start saying that, you know, his content isn't entertaining anymore, and he's not the same person he used to be. Like, he was still getting rappers like 4Bats or people such as Jayoma on stream, but it just wasn't, like, it just wasn't the same, or it wasn't entertaining. I mean, we can see this from his YouTube channel where his views simply are low compared to some of the content people actually found interesting and funny, which was the Andrew Tate stuff. And all of this would lead to him disappearing from the internet. As past the 25th of May in 2024, Aiden Ross would completely stop streaming with no public information or message to his fans. 
which left people seriously concerned. Now, Aiden. around two weeks Tweet later, it. Aiden Ross was yet to be seen live. However, it did put out a tweet on his burner Twitter account which read, Hey guys, about to undergo surgery very soon. I'll keep everyone updated. I love you guys. Which honestly was a bit cryptic. Surgery no one really what? knew what this is about. Um, some fans theorized that he was getting his veneers redone, but that was about it. And of course, as you can imagine, this made the diehard Aiden Ross fans very worried. But after that tweet, it was silence again from Aiden as no one could really get in contact with him. So people started asking his friends. Aiden update, he's returning with a big stream, okay chat? He's returning with a, a very, very good stream. I'm not gonna say what stream, I'm not gonna say what type of t uh, type of stream, but um, he's gonna return on a big stream, okay chat? He's doing good mentally, physically. Now the next thing we would hear of he? Aiden is when a video of the rappers V's and Riley Rodriguez will be posted online where they would be seen inside of his warehouse playing basketball, where fans managed to pause the video frame by frame and spot Aiden in the back. <laughs> y'all boys are crazy for this, bro. How do y'all be, y'all be crazy? Y'all look good to the least like this? he was alive. And what was even weirder is the fact that Lil Baby's red Cybertruck would also be seen inside of Aiden's warehouse, which had fans thinking, oh damn, Aiden Ross is going to make a comeback to streaming with a huge bang, a stream with Lil Baby. But days would pass and we would never really hear anything about this which was confusing what else would Lil Baby be doing at Aiden's warehouse I mean I doubt Lil Baby is going to be hanging out with Aiden Ross in his spare time now the next time we would hear of Aiden was like a week after the Lil Baby incident where a fan would share DMs with Aiden where Aiden said I'm coming back better than ever man I promise you which no one could really confirm if the DMs were true as some of these fan pages are you know a bit crazy however a couple of days after this Aiden Ross would be spotted at an airport where fans said he was looking happy and healthy and with the fact that he had rehired his personal trainer as he was also spotted with him now actually stuff would come out with a little baby um, incident and things would get cleared up as in the beginning of july it would come out that uh, i guess the two were just gambling and um you know little baby saw him as an easy lick you know especially with the playboy Carty stuff as one of um, their close friends posted an instagram story saying that aiden ross just lost like three million dollars with little baby from gambling and aiden ross crypto tracker account would also show like a huge transaction to a stake account which is the website that they do the gambling These on boys and literally crazy, right bro, now I'm as of you. the 4th of July Aiden Ross will be spotted at Michael Rubin's all white party looking happy and healthy so as we can see Aiden has had a tough ride I heard about the parties, months, man. but from what we can see he is still healthy and happy and hopefully is going to make a huge comeback to streaming so fingers crossed like subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys in the next one look Aiden Listen to me, if, if you ever see this video within this frame of time, listen. I know they said you're happy and healthy right now, bro, but you can't keep having these downwards, these downward spirals like this. You, you can't. You're, what, 23, 24? Bro, we're the same age. Get a hold of yourself, bro. You have to get a hold of yourself. You literally have everything that anybody in our age range it like these days you have everything that a person will want there should be no reason that you should be having these downward spirals like this there should be no reason bro get a hold of yourself keep it going forever not for a couple months to a year keep your shit together forever you got it you got it all bro you, ha you have the you, ha you got the clout you got the money you have everything you could possibly ever want bro you should be a peak physical condition and peak mental health i understand like you know with all the clout all the money that the the the, the mental health shit can be kind of you know kind of janky but all the lean all the drug come on bro get your shit together all the celebrities being around us you don't have to do that type of shit you know what i'm saying just to look cool to fit in bro you, you already have everything and sometimes nigga you probably richer than some of these motherfuckers you know what i'm saying Get your shit together, man. I hope you stay up. You know what I'm saying? Love you. You know what I'm saying? But come on. Let's be serious. Get a hold of yourself, bro.